partnership is really the key to addressing any kind of housing crisis or any kind of social crisis. There's no one solution for everything and if we're all working separately we're not going to be able to move the needle on housing. So we need to bring all of the technology, all of the knowledge, all of the experiences of all these great organizations together in projects like this so that we can actually address the housing crisis in a meaningful way. So partnering with the bridge, building bridges Erie Shores is also, everybody just colloquially calls it the bridge. Partnering with them is just truly a blessing because we know they're doing great work in their community with uh, people that are housing insecure. When our youth is looking to leave our supportive housing facility, we're really finding challenges in getting them connected with independent living. So we are really excited about this next venture and we have always had an intent to move forward on building rental units and it's for a number of reasons for us so not only do we want to provide a safe space for our youth to transition into but we also want to build into the bridge's future for self-sustainability so the rental income that we're going to generate from these units will help move back into the resource center and our supportive housing facility so we're really excited that the partnership with Habitat came to fruition and we can kind of jump start the interventions that we want to move forward on. Habitat for Humanity, the University of Windsor, CMHC, it's all very exciting to pull those people together and those agencies together to work towards a common goal. We want every youth to reach their potential. We want to also provide affordable housing that aligns with Habitat for Humanity. So really the stars have aligned around the project and we're really excited to move it forward. The partnership with the University of Windsor is so important that they're doing this research to ensure that the houses are going to be structurally sound and that they are going to meet building code. And, you know, to be the first in Canada that's being built for residential use to address the housing crisis, to meet the building code and exceed the structural requirements of housing is just something we can be really proud of. It, the challenge is that the code is not written for 3D printed housing, so we need to do this research. We know that these houses are gonna be structurally engineered to the limit, and so knowing that the university was on the team, that was probably one of the main reasons I said yes, we would do it. So Fiona and I both believe that this can change the game, the way we do the construction right now, where you have a lot of people involved, it's very time consuming, expensive. So instead, if we can basically robotize the construction, bring a robot and take the load off, so uh, make it faster, cheaper, and environmentally friendly construction. Right? That's the whole plan. This is a new technology, so Canada hasn't seen any yet. So we'll be the first one printing four homes in Windsor, Essex area. So this is a new technology, anything new technology, it needs time to improve and get 100% perfect. Discussions have been taking place for you know, numerous uh, months with various partners around how do we become more innovative around providing affordable housing. This is not just a Habitat for Humanity issue, it is an issue from a community level, right? So local, federal, etc. we all already know that we are in dire need of building more affordable housing based on families that need it. And so the partnership is just so, so surreal and rewarding for us uh, in order to have these great partners that are willing to progress in this area to provide housing for those that need it. This is going to really change the way that we do housing in the future. And I think this is something that is a true pride point for us as an organization, for us as a partner, and for us as a city. It's hard to overstate the importance of housing. Every Canadian deserves a safe and affordable place to come home. We need to test out innovations that could address this housing challenge, but also contribute to the fight against climate change. 3D printed housing has the potential to do exactly that. And that is why I'm excited about this HFH 3D printed house project. And it demonstrates our federal government's ability to bring different players to find solutions to the challenges faced by Canadians.